So I wanted to say um, in a separate video, I wanted to talk about Prince Philip and connection with Meghan Markle and Harry. Because I didn't want to do, I, w I made a video, a tribute video to Prince Philip, and I didn't want to mention um, the unmentionable Markle interview. But I think it's important to state that when you accuse, there's a saying that a lot of, that we use when we say, when you accuse somebody of something, when you point a finger at someone, don't forget that um, four fingers are pointed at you. So it's very odd to accuse the royal British family of being racist when we know the history of Prince Philip. Prince Philip, uh, besides serving in the British Army during World War II and having actively fought um, in the British Army, right, um, in World War II against the fascist uh, Nazi occupation in Europe, um, risking his life. Uh, he also had a mother called Princess Alice, who had saved the Jewish family, also risking her life during the Holocaust in Greece, in Ethan, Greece. She was hiding a Jewish family, Cohen family, for 13 months from the Gestapo. Uh, really risking her life because if she had been caught, she would have been executed and her family as well, members of her family. She later asked to be buried in the Mount of Olives and um, Prince Philip not only came to the Holocaust Museum, not only wrote God uh, judges our deeds, man's deeds, but he also uh, was fighting against anti-Semitism. And let's not forget a very important part of history when Edward who very interestingly had a, a married uh, American divorcee, similarly looking to Meghan Markle, but not similar in character, I must add. Um, he was a friend of Hitler. He was a Nazi, like he loved the Nazis. He visited Adolf Hitler. He was his good friend. And it had it not been for this woman, um, this American divorcee, uh, had he been a king, because he, he could have been the king of England, God knows how history would have been different if the king of England would have been a collaborator with the Nazis. Think how the British people or the Allies, how everything, the whole, this was a game changer, the fact that he stepped down. And who exposed him, who worked to make sure he wouldn't be king as well, was Prince Philip. He was absolutely exposing him. As a, Nazi, a friend of the Nazis, a, a collaborator, in fact. And so he was actively working against him becoming king as well. Um, so, and, and, and later on, he was working to um, remind people of the Holocaust. And uh, it was standing on the side of the Jewish people uh, against anti Semitism. So, to like, and let's look at Prince Harry. He wore a Nazi uniform. He took photos in a Nazi uniform. He thinks it's funny um, to dress as a person who uh, was part of a group that murdered people in the most vicious and hideous ways known to mankind. We just had Holocaust Memorial Day. I mean, the Nazis were one of the worst violent thugs in history. Not only Jews, by the way, but also anyone who was against them. Uh, was murdered, but they really focused their hate on Jews, and they really focused on their killing methods on Jews, but they also killed homosexuals, uh, Jehovah Witness, anyone of a different religion, handicapped people, mentally ill people, anyone who was in any way against their crazy racist Aryan theory. And who was their friend? Edward, who was supposed to be king, but because of the American divorce, say he married, there was a way that he had to decide between this marriage or becoming a king. But Prince Philip was fighting that he would never be king. So Prince Philip was not only speaking out against racism and anti-Semitism, but he was actually doing something against it. And what does Prince Harry do? Dress up in a Nazi uniform. And he wasn't like a child. He was already an adult. He knew what he was doing. And he, you know, so... And there were also documented um, 
testimonies that he said, racist things against Pakistani people, and God knows what. So for those people to have given an interview, just when his grandfather was very ill, instead of flying over there and visiting his father, grandfather, supporting the, the family at a time where Prince Philip was so gravely ill, he's giving this stupid interview, supporting his stupid wife who was exposed for so many lies, and they're accusing the British royal family of being racist? After his grandfather did so much to fight Nazis during World War II. So what I want to say is Harry is an embarrassment to the British royal family and to the British people. And to the United Kingdom and to the anti-fascist world. And there was this channel and the, they were speaking out against why does a person speak out against, why is a Holocaust denier in jail? Well, let me tell you why. Because words can cause violence. We see that in the U.S. today, how hate speech causes people to be violent. Whether they're mentally ill or not doesn't matter. It matters that they act in a violent way because words incite them. And so we shouldn't take it lightly. It starts with words and then it goes on to, to, to acts of, of violence. So... How dare, how dare Prince Harry and Meghan Markle accuse the royal British family of racism when there's a person like Prince Philip fighting Nazism, fighting King, uh, that Edward would not be king, and saving history. This man did an act that changed the whole way, the whole uh, path of history. Imagine if Edward had been king, a friend of Adolf Hitler, king of England. So this is not a small matter. He definitely influenced Queen Elizabeth and he had a strong moral backbone. And let's not forget that. And now with his passing, all this comes out. I just read an article and I thought I must, I must speak. I must speak out and mention that. Uh, so I don't know about other members of the British royal family, but he was definitely speaking out against racism, anti-Semitism, fighting the Nazis actively um, and a lifelong battle against racism and his mother hid Jews during the war risking her life. So this is a man that comes from a very strong um, anti-fascist uh, moral backbone. And don't forget, we also have to mention three of his sisters married Nazi collaborators, German Nazi collaborators, and still he continued to speak out against anti-Semitism. So it's even harder like that. It's more difficult when you are a minority in a family. Uh, he, he followed his mother's footsteps. Uh, she became a nun. He, he was a very uh, strong fighter against anti-Semitism and racism. So for anyone who did nothing, nothing for against racism actively, you know, what, what did Harry do? Fought in Afghanistan and then at the same time said racist things against Pakistani soldiers, and God knows why he did it anyway. So, but he was actually in World War II, risking his life, fighting with the British army against a possible occupation of the Nazis. So, Prince Harry still has to do a lot in order to make up for dressing in a Nazi uniform. And his wife can really just shut up if she thinks she can accuse a family that has such a man, such a man, a member in it. She is so ignorant of history. She might have um, a degree in international relations, but obviously she never learned anything because where doesn't she know history? She didn't even know who Harry was. How can you get a degree in international relations and not even know who the British royal family is and what they stood up for during World War II? And just let, let us mention the Nazis didn't only target Jews, they targeted uh, African people, they targeted um, Jesse Owen in the Berlin uh, Olympics, Hitler wouldn't even shake his hand, and didn't he prove them wrong about the stupid racist theories of the Nazis that they're the superior race when Jesse Owen won all those medals. So it's not only African people, not only Jews, not only people of different uh, religions, not only homosexuals, but the Nazis targeted so many ethnic groups. And who didn't they target? And for Meghan Markle to actually accuse them of racism for some 
who knows even if it was said some comment made about the color of the skin of her child i mean this is racism really but what did they do what did this family do for people for 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 the whole entire world fighting nazis so i think Meghan Markle really needs to to redo a degree re-educate herself maybe visit the holocaust memorial maybe visit um uh like a museum against uh, racism there must be somewhere in the u.s such museums and see what her what the harry's maternal uh sorry what harry's paternal great grandmother did during world war ii and ask herself really do you really have the audacity to accuse such a family of racism so i'm really enraged at the moment because we spent all the channels busy with Meghan Markle and Harry interview by Oprah Winfrey, a billionaire interviewing a millionaire, and Harry actually had the audacity of claiming he didn't get enough millions of dollars so they could live a lavish life, trashing his family. And so more and more people are waking up and they also realize that Meghan Markle told lies. And isn't it interesting that the divorcee American divorcee who married Edward actually saved saved the world from possible Nazi British king and also was a person who didn't trash fa the British royal family. She married him, yes, but she didn't just constantly seek fame and at the expense of a moral backbone. So it's time to speak out against that. And let's have more channels remembering Prince Philip and what he did for for human humanity. He prevented Nazism from up from taking over Europe. Uh, and he contributed quite a lot, and he was also an example of a fine husband.